Uh, normally, if I was starting from scratch, I would just sink the knife in and then sink it in to get again close by to start a new hole. I'm not sure. I think this gourd is, if the gourd was a little bit too soft to do this, I would just drill a hole to start with. I think this is going to be okay. So I'm just making two slits and then join them, and that gives me the amount of space that my blade. My saw blade needs to go in there and this I'm just gonna have to very 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 carefully and I'll probably have to do a lot of work by hand over here because the bit won't go up that far so here goes Okay, so now I'm getting a nice round look here. I think this is gonna be good. It still looks a little bit awkward here, but I'm hoping that once I paint, it will get better. And I'll touch up the wood burning here just a little bit. All right. The only thing you missed is that I cleaned up. <laughs> I can't wait for my little mini back to get here, a little handheld battery operated type vacuum with a recharger. That'll make cleanup so much easier. So I've got these smoothed out as much as I want, have these smoothed out. I've got to do a little bit more wood burning here. I might angle that a little bit more. And since this is going to be a crèche with something sitting in it, I really need to come up with a base there. And I'm just sort of thinking about maybe a piece of wood. Um, I would consider the piece I cut out, but it's not really, I don't think any part of it is flat enough to use for this. So this side will be the crèche, and I'm thinking that if if the star line is gold, then that means this outline might need to be black. And then I'll paint the inside a deep blue, and then maybe just some gold spots for stars. That way I don't even have to worry about cleaning out the roughed up part. Um, it looks pretty regular like somebody scraped it so maybe I'll... No, I think it'll be okay. It'll look like swirly swirly skies. And then the gold will come around here and I think I'll do black in here. And that way it'll all tie together. I think it's coming together. I think it's going to be pretty good. And um, this time I've used power tools a whole lot more. And that actually does make things a lot faster. It means I'm taking my headphones on and off a lot more often, but I think it's actually it's actually faster using the using the power tools versus the hand tools, although I, I like the peace and quiet of using hand tools. So a little bit more wood burning and then I can start applying some color. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna just work on that angle a little bit. just going to have to do this on the edge here. Of course, if that's going to be a black circle that won't show, but just for continuity. Actually, I guess this isn't going to matter at all if I'm painting that part black and I'll paint the room black as well. couple spots I'm just sort of beating them down a little bit. This is gonna be the gold comet constellation type thing. 
and this might show, so I'll touch that up. still feel like there's a bump there. Okay, so I've just touched up a couple spots here and there, burnt and dumped out a tiny little bit. using a coal wood burner. I started out with one of those little $20 burners and had so much fun with it and just kind of my interest went way beyond so I ended up splurging and treating myself to a real burner. The benefit is that you can control the temperature with the little single pan units. You can't really control the temperature. But it's a great place to start. I mean, if people used to wood burn with a stick that they stuck in the fire, then certainly we can do it with a less expensive device. Oh, I just can't leave the line. I need to start coloring. Color. Okay, the next step is simply painting. I'm going to paint the interior parts black. The swirl is going to be gold. I'm going to a lighter dye there. Interior here blue with some gold accents and then gold here. I might have to mix a little bit of blue and black to make an even deeper blue for the sky inside of the crèche and maybe a little bit of gold dots here and there for more stars in there and everyone knows how to paint I would imagine so I'm not gonna bother walking you through that part. That's one coat of black, but there are still some holidays and skips, so I'm going to go over the black section one more time. Alright, I have the back black painted. I have the black painted two coats because it seemed like there were some holidays. Next, I think I'm going to work on the gold and then the kind of a just a light honey kind of a honey color on the side. I might sand it again to clean it up just a little bit. And the gold back here, and then I've got to determine what base I want to use and make sure that it coordinates. All right, here's where we are. And I'm about to use, this is just my favorite gold. It's a Bella Metallic Paint Gold Nugget. And I think I like it just because of the consistency and the way it goes on is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now you're going to get to see my painting technique. I'm going to put the gold on the flamey part. Not sure if this is going to bore you horribly or what. I wonder if the star should be something different. Oh, I love this paint. It just looks so antique. -y. Ooh, what's the color come to? A shine. 